Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and this is episode 7 of my Airfix 112th Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama Build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Okay, in today's episode we'll be finishing off the base and doing a big reveal. To start with, we're going to be putting down some twigs to simulate branches, cutting into an old brush to simulate different dead grass lengths, some moss to simulate bushes and lots of other diorama-y things. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy up thing and crack on. Now for a bit of ground scatter. This stuff is made of flavoured tea leaves, earth from my garden and bake that removes any germs in the earth and some mixed herbs added for good measure. Let's get this done. There we go, that's all done. We'll pop that to dry overnight. Now that has dried, this is what it looks like. Not too shabby at all, even if I say so myself. What this means is we can now measure it up and get the TARDIS fitted to this base. So, here we go with that lot. Right, we've super glued the TARDIS in place, then used accelerator to harden it up quicker. Now to get those doors in. There we go, that's the doors in. Here I decided to pull the zoom back so you could see more as the TARDIS was filling up too much of the lens. I apologise for this state of the band. Anyway, let's carry on.
I also put the steps in and the cross beam and glued them both into place. Now to lock down all the sand and ground scatter that I added to the TARDIS, I'm using a PVA and water mix here. There we go, that didn't take long, did it? So we're gonna pop that to one side to dry. As if by magic, and a little help of video editing, it's dried. So it's now time for a wash of the base. I'm using my homebrew wash here. Pop over to my channel and check out the DIY video for making a homebrew wash. There we go, that's the wash done. You can pop that to one side and leave it to dry. This kit came without decals, which I was a bit miffed about, so I had to make my own. I found some images on the interwebby thing, printed them off, sized them up, before I printed them off, obviously, then glued them on. Let's see how they look. Okay, that's them now cut out. To glue them on, I actually used Alclad's gloss varnish. Here we go with that. went on nicely I'm quite happy with those next it's time to put the doctor together here we go with that
So we also gave the doctor a quick touch up of paint here and there, as well as a quick wash. Now it's time to test out the pulsing light. Just like that, I'm happy that'll work. And the one on top, nice. So there we have both pulsing lights working perfectly fine. Next to check the soft white and the lower console inside the TARDIS. Yep, both working perfectly. Next to finish off the wiring with a power supply, well actually a couple of power supplies and a soundboard. This was added to the soundboard. There we go, that's the soundboard. Hmm, I wonder how long it'll take before somebody claims that one. Now, let's carry on anyway.
And there we have it finished. Now for the glamour shots. But first I'm going to show you a couple of videos showing the sound and the lights on one I made for my fiance as I forgot to do the videos for this one. Then it'll be on to those glamour shots. So enjoy. So there we have it, that is Airfix's 112th Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama built. Next I'm going to be concentrating on the King Tiger for a couple of weeks, so if you want to see what's going on with that, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.